Good afternoon. Um, great the weather's holding off. It's wonderful to be in this garden. I'm never happier than when in a garden, and if it's a, a, a communal garden, it's even better because everybody feels they own it and they take care of it. And uh, and I can see there's still a little bit of work to be done, so I hope that call for volunteers will fall on fertile soil. Um, why should there be a suicide plaque? Because, like in the last century, nobody talked about tuberculosis if it was in the family. Like 50 years ago, nobody talked about cancer if it was in the family. Like 30 years ago, nobody talked about a family member who was gay. This is all real life. People are like that. Sometimes people commit suicide. Sometimes people think of committing suicide. It's terrible. I think it's a terrible, terrible waste of life. By recognizing it, we're not saying it's good. It's like by recognizing evil, one saying, it is there, let's try and avoid it. And people who feel suicidal need all the help they can get. It's something we don't understand. Normal, well-balanced people suddenly decide to leave the world. And it's quite difficult to understand why. But I think all we can do is to say it exists. People who have those tendencies should be helped as much as they can be with friendship, with love, with community, with talking about it, with having someone on the end of the phone they can ring and say how they feel, because it's not that rare, I don't think. That, I mean, there's deep depression and there's suicidal thoughts. They're not that far apart. And I've always been taught that it is darkest before the dawn. And when I get really low, there's a little bird in me saying, it can only get better. <laughs> and, and I think it's that little bird we want to put in ears of people who are thinking of ending their journey on li in life to say, oh, <coughs> it can get better. The fact the firm has gone to the wall, the fact your life's work is now destroyed, is not the end of the world. The sky is still there, the sea is still there, people are still there, friends are still there, community is still there. Look in other places, don't dwell on that one thing which makes you feel life is worthless. So, that's why I, I've, I've come up from the hot climbs of West Cork <laughs> to the, this rainy day in Kerry. Um, uh, I'm very glad to be here because I think we have to support each other and doing this in a communal garden because communal support is so helpful to people who feel cut off with their own problems and feel that no one will miss them. Um, uh, it, it, it's so apt that we're here and I hope those of you who've lost a family member or a close friend to suicide will feel comforted by many of the support groups who are here and by the community which is here and will even feel comforted by coming and sitting in this garden and think that your loved one is remembered and made a choice but that it's something you can talk to people about. I think if we talk about everything, the problems go away. I always say to my wife, I say, go to sleep now, we'll talk about it in the morning. <laughs> and A, it's always better in the morning, and B, it's always better when you talk about it. So, enough of that. Um, I'm going to open, I'm going to take the pillowcase off. Thank you for coming, thank you for welcoming me. You're going to pull that side, all this side. You're going to pull this side. I know what you mean. I prefer that side. We'll pull it, we'll pull it very slowly. We'll go out like a, like a crane. Three, two, one. Yay!